So let's say if your magnitude of vector v is equal to 7 and your direction is 270 degrees, what is the component form? of the vector, might as well put it up here, x comma y. Okay. So when they say the component form, they just want to know in the form that involves magnitude and direction. So magnitude and direction. Make a little Side note there. Okay, so we know that x is equal to the magnitude of v cosine theta, and y is the magnitude of v sine theta. Let me draw a little boundary here. So that means your magnitude of v is 7 times cosine of 270 degrees, and your y is 7 times sine of 270 degrees. Okay. Now, cosine of 270 degrees just happens to be 0, so you have 7 times 0, which is just 7, and sine of 270 degrees just happens to be negative 1, so 7 times negative 1. Oh, why did I put 7? I meant to put 0, which is negative 7. So your x is 0, and your y is negative 7. Okay. So that's your vector comp in component form. So any questions on that one? All right. So we're almost done. Almost. I, I see the, the drain. But we're, we're like that close. Now we're going to look at the dot product. Okay. So there's a reason why I haven't been putting the little dots for multiplication, because the dots in vector mean something altogether different. That's why I've been using the parentheses for multiplication. So let u equal, we'll say, component 1 and u2, and vector v equal our v1 and v2, so our two components. Okay. So the dot product which is u dot v, okay. so when you're adding, remember you add the first components and then you add the second components. For the dot product, you multiply the first components and then you add that to the multiplication of the second components. Okay, so the dot product actually produces a scalar. So the, two, the dot product of two vectors doesn't produce another vector. Two vectors. produces a scalar. Remember, a scalar is just a constant. Okay, so let's say, for example, if we have, if we're given that 
our u vector is equal to negative i plus j. And our v vector is equal to i plus 9j. Find the dot product of u dot v. So really, we can just rewrite u and v. So u, our u vector, that can equal negative 1, 1. And our v vector will just be 1, 9. Okay. So the dot product, u dot v, will equal multiplying the two first components, so you have negative 1 times 1, plus multiplying the second component, 1 times 9. Okay, so it's equal negative 1 plus 9, which is equal to 8. So any questions on that one? All right, so we'll do one more quick example in a few seconds. example for a given that our u vector is 7, 5 and our v vector is 8, negative 8 find our dot product So once again, our dot product is just the dot product of our u vector and our v vector. Okay, so whenever you have the dot product, you multiply the first two components. So you have 7 times 8, well, the first components of each of them, plus now you multiply the second components, 5 times negative 8, okay, which is 56 minus 40, which is 16. All right, so any questions on that one? So the last subject, last one, kind of slapped yourself awake a little bit. It's almost done. Everyone's done. Looks like everyone's done. And this is to find the angle between two vectors. So what if we let vector v 
have the compo components V1 and V2. And, uh oh, vector U. Have the components U1 and U2. The angle between them. can be found using the formula cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of u and v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Straighten up that little arrow a bit. where we know that the magnitude of u is the square root of the first component squared and the second component squared. And same thing with the magnitude of v. That's the square root of the first component squared and the second component squared. So first, if we suppose that the magnitude of the u vector is equal to 2, and the magnitude of the v vector is equal to 6. And let's say if we know that the dot product is equal to 4. Find the angle. between the vectors, rounded to the nearest degree. All right, so right now we just use our formula, cosine theta, which is equal to the dot product of u and v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Okay. So one thing I wouldn't do, just to, as a little advice, I wouldn't put a multiplication dot in between those two because it's really easy to mistake the dot product dot with the multiplication dot. Okay. So that means that our cosine of theta is equal to our dot product, which we know is 4, over our magnitude of u, which is 2, times our magnitude of v, which is 6. So we know that cosine of theta is equal to 4 over 12, or just, oh, where is it? Yep, 4 over 12, or 1 third. I don't know why I put a, actually one of these should be negative. I don't know why I missed it on my example. So the dot product, I believe that's negative, so sorry about that. So that should be negative 4. There we go. Okay. So that means that your cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 third. Okay. So once you have your cosine of theta, you apply your cosine inverse to both sides. OK? 
Okay, so you have cosine inverse of cosine, which cancels out. So that means that your theta is equal to cosine inverse of negative one-third. But if you plug that into your calculator, your theta is equal to, should be 109.471 degrees. But if we round that to the nearest degree, it's just 109 degrees. That was one of the easier ones where they gave you the magnitude and everything else. Most of them you have to figure all those out for yourself. So we'll do one last example with that. We'll be all done. Okay, so let's say, for example, we know that our u vector is equal to 1, negative 5, and our v vector is equal to 4, negative 5. Okay, so what's the angle between vectors u and v? Round it to the nearest degree. So we know that to find the angle between the two, cosine theta equals our dot product divided by the magnitude of each of the vectors. Okay. So first thing you want to do is find our magnitude. Or you can find the dot product first, whichever one you decide. So the magnitude of u, remember that's just the square root of 1 squared times negative 5 squared. Or 1 squared plus negative 5 squared, which is equal to the square root of 1 plus 25, which is the square root of 26. Okay, so now we find the magnitude of our v vector, which is the square root of 4 squared plus negative 5 squared. which is the square root of 16 plus 25, which is the square root of 41. Okay. So now we find our dot product. Okay. So the dot product of u and v is the dot product of negative one, oh, not negative one, one negative five. and 4, negative 5. Which is 1 times 4 plus negative 5 times negative 5. So you have 25 plus 4, which is 29. Okay, So we have everything we need to find the angle between the two. So our cosine of theta, which is u dot v over length of the u vector and magnitude of the v vector, 
just becomes our dot product is 29. Our magnitude of u, square root of 26. And our magnitude of v, square root of 41. Okay. So if you plug it into a calculator, you end up with, give or take, 0 0.8882. So we have cosine theta equals 0 0.8882. Okay. Oh, bring that up a little bit. So now we'll apply cosine inverse to both sides. So cosine inverse and cosine cancels out. So you have your theta equals cosine inverse of 0 0.8882. So you plug that in, you should end up with 27.350 degrees. Round it to the nearest degree, it's just 27 degrees. Okay. So if you have two vectors, that will be the angle in between the two of them. So any questions on that one? If individually, they're not horrible to do. It's just so many little bitty formulas to remember. That's going to be the rough part. All right, and that is it.